What's up? So it is Tuesday and I am just off a meeting with my supervisor for my uh, research project for this year. Interesting, we have another meeting on Thursday um, with a whole lot of people from um, the whole organisation that we're working with at the minute. And it's all very interesting and all very confusing and I feel way over my head. But that's just how research goes, I suppose, especially as an undergrad with no experience. So, it's a huge learning curve, but we're getting there. We're getting there. There's no... It's, things, are, things are moving. But I am just making some lunch, so I am going to have uh, two sausages, a packet of turkey rashers, a bit of cheese, an egg. Don't have a brioche roll today, so I'm just going to have some toast to be good bread, it's quite nice, sausages are already in the grill, I'm um, going to get this into me, I already have the heater on out in the shed because it's going to be very cold when I go out there to squat and my knees will not appreciate cold. Um, just trying to get it nice and warm out there because, you know, snowing out there at the minute, um, just a little bit of snow. But apparently it's going to get worse during the week. So, also I know this isn't the greatest pre-workout meal of all time. But, needs must. So I have basically two hours to get this done before I have another work thing on this afternoon. And then I'm teaching this evening. So, the workout has to, has to be fitted in when I can and I don't really like lifting late in the evening especially if I'm making noise out in the shed because someone could be asleep or whatever it, in the house in the state so it, it's completely fair so um show you the lunch when I have it all made and uh, I will chat to you when I'm out lifting right I know it probably looks a bit burnt whatever but have my e-singles melted into my bread so, the only way to do this, you have to... Beautiful sandwich, a few other bits to munch on. The new monster from, excuse me, got, this just came from Body First, so I'm going to try them. These are the new monsters. Apparently they are outrageously good. My favourite monster of all time is the Mango Loco, and apparently this just tastes like that with zero sugar. So I cannot wait to try it. I will review it. Um, please excuse Tim, who's clearly not happy in the back. So, so uh, got my Monster Ultra Fiesta. Oh, it smells so good! Oh my god! Oh, ow! Like, that's the same amount of calories and. Before the whole monster's bad for you gang get on to me, I know it's bad for me, but like, if it tastes this good, I don't care. This is amazing. That is my new favourite, that is better than the white one. And I know that most people, anyone who knows how much monster I drink, know that for me to say that something's better than the white one is a huge claim. Overall rankings are now this white green. Wow. Life changing. Get your hands on this as soon as you can. Alright, what's up? So, we have new block. Super excited to start. First block where I'm properly being coached uh, with Connor, as I've mentioned in the last few videos. Uh, so that's Connor Campbell from Odyssey Strength and I know him because he's from down the road and very interesting. Get on super well with him 
and I really like the way he thinks about training. So I think it was a good fit and I'm super excited to be working with him. Um, so today, so essentially this block is going to be ran at triples at an RPE of 8. I'm going to discuss what an RPE is now. Hi, so RPE, what is RPE? I know I've explained it before, but I just want to clear everything up, make sure that we're all on the same page about what RPE is. RPE is the rate of perceived exertion for a given lift. Essentially, it is a tool that we use in powerlifting to gauge how heavy we felt something was. So, if I could lift it, but I could lift literally, like if I put another gram on the bar, I'd have failed. That's a 10. Couldn't move it again. If I could definitely have gotten one more rep, like 100% in my mind, there's no doubt that I could get one more rep, just one. RPE 9. And it works on that 1 to 10 scale. So at the minute, my RPE of 8 means that I could definitely get two more reps. Now you could, obviously that's not a super exact science and it's not super quantifiable unless I try to max out immediately after my sets or I did a three rep max and then did or I guess if I did a five rep max and then did three reps it that would be the only way to quantify it every week and it would be pointless because you'll be so fatigued from the five rep max that the three rep would be pointless you get the picture it all comes down to how fast the bar moved how you felt that the bar moved and it's very important that you actually record yourself so I'm gonna put up a chart here, I'm going to shut up, and RPE, rate of perceived exertion, not super hard. And you're back. So, triples at an RPE of 8 is going to be the main uh, top sets that we're looking at. So, uh, in my last block you know that I had top sets of 5 at an RPE of 8, now it's 3 so theoretically should be going higher. Also, I know I'm at an awkward angle and I'm moving up and down a lot, but I'm sorry, it's a weird camera angle. But it's set perfectly for squats. So, I have 145 on the bar. 140 moved fine there, but I kept hitting the side, or my pins. So, uh, I've dropped the pins down a bit. 145 on the bar. I am feeling it on squats today. They feel beautiful. So, I'm super excited to get into these. 145 on the bar. In my head, there's at least 150 there. So... I am going to hit this 145, gonna have a look at it, gonna record it on my phone for a depth check mainly, but that also allows me to send it, send it into the Odyssey group chat and uh, the guys there will have a look and tell me if I can go up or if I have room to push it. But again, week one of potentially quite another long block, so I'm not going to try and start yeeting weight on the bar just because I'm feeling good um, or too good and then not be able to do something similar next week I really need to stay in the pocket and not get ahead of myself so new monster changing it up got a bit of Paul Walker on Alexa and we're gonna get after this from Odyssey Ronan just replied to me there and again because it's week one it could be potentially a little bit too much to shoot for 150 so I've 147.5 on the bar which I think is the most I've ever done for a triple so I must have repped really to be honest everything we get we do from now on is just going to be a new weight that I've never repped before so gonna throw it on well I have it on I'm gonna get myself hyped up and get going Yeah, 
47.5, I'm gonna call it there. Honestly, I still feel like that was slightly undershot because of how well the 147.5 moved versus the 145. But I'm really happy with that. That's a new PR that's gonna build on next week. Gonna have 150 in the head all next week. And just gonna smash it. Happy out. Uh, time to get some bench done and then I have to... F um, a 95 going on to the bar now. Um, 90 and 80, honestly. Both didn't move super well. Like they moved. Sub 8, of course. But they both didn't really move nearly as well as I expected them to. Like, in my head there's a 100 on the bar today. Like, no question I need to be benching 100 today because, uh, well, I mean, if you can max out for 5 at 100, you can bench 100 for a set of 3 at 8. That just makes sense. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to go for the 95, we're going to see how it moves, um, if I have to call it there, I have to call it there, but I'll be a little bit annoyed to be honest, uh, I'm going to get myself a bit fired up, get some chalk on the hands, and we're going to try and groove these reps, so let's get moving. Also going to drop these down because I'm afraid that they're going to throw off a rep. Granted, I've nearly died because of these, but needs musts and all that, you know? really bad it was basically a touch and go set so I'm gonna try and do 95 again without going up and um, nail the pauses and leave it there for the week so let's give it a go much better I'm under lots of time pressure so I am going to do my back hands real quick and run off so chat to you tomorrow hey what's up so it is Wednesday uh, afternoon I'm just warming myself up on the bike for deadlifts today uh, I usually cycle maybe for like six or seven minutes about three kilometers and uh, just get myself moving get the knees warm and uh, yeah, so not feeling the best today, real headachey and just a bit sluggish. I think it's mainly uh, the most that I, the most fresh air I've gotten since like Sunday has been walking from the back garden to my shed, or walking from the back door of the house to my shed, which isn't very far. So I'm gonna go for a walk after this rather than do any spinning on the bike because I can do it with the fresh air and just make sure that you're getting some fresh air I know like I'm very privileged to have this set up but if you're not getting fresh air it can make you feel a bit well not even down but just sluggish and keep you in the house and just force yourself to get outside and get some fresh air in because it is good for you it will cheer you up I know I feel better after I go for a walk after this workout um, I don't won't go for a walk in shorts of course that would be weird February and like zero degrees out or I'll go put some trousers on and go for a walk um, I do have a mountain of stuff to get done for this college thing tomorrow um, so I have a lot of stuff to figure out could be a late night so I'm just going to go and get my exercise done and I will chat to you when the barbell gets a bit heavier on deadlifts uh, numbers wise I don't really have anything in mind but I'd like somewhere around a 160, but like I've moved 160 for 5, so probably 165, 170-ish. But look, we'll see how things are moving. I'm not feeling the best, as I said. Um, I know I'm getting the excuses out early, but it could have an impact. So, with that said, I'm going to keep going 
for the warm up and I will chat to you when it gets set. I think I fixed my deadlifts. So uh, I know a lot of people have noticed and it's a very obvious thing was how wide I used to grip my sumo deadlifts. Um, and I've decided that for this block I'm going to try and bring it back inside to more my arms being straight down below my shoulder and it already seems to have made a difference. Um, I've absolutely flown at 160 on the bar now. Excuse me, 160 on the bar now. But the lockout has felt class. Like, excuse me again, sorry, monster. Um, it's moved real well and the lockout especially has felt a lot better. So I'm gonna have to stick with it. Like, okay, it tears up my leg a bit, but that's meh, part of it, you know. Um, so I've 160 on the bar now, I'm gonna give this a, give this a crack. I think 170's there today for a triple, but um we're gonna see. And uh yeah, see how it goes. simple. It's as easy as that. So I didn't think of the way I was warming up and figured that I just had my arms straight down and then mentioned to Yi that I was arms straight down so then stood over the bar and went arms straight down. And then like I don't know how well you can see it but just like tore up my leg. It's not like bad it's just a scrape but like long term doing volume of just constantly scraping your legs it just hurts, it makes you enjoy it slightly less so yeah I just pulled another single of 160 there with my hands closer together and my hands don't hit my legs as hard and that's just what I've not been doing, I'm just an idiot so I'm gonna load the 170, I'm gonna pull the 170 and then we're gonna see how we are um, I think 170 is where I'm gonna call it for today which is humongous like again I pulled 175 last week on my pivot for a single at six which is a match of the most I've ever lifted sumo and I have five kilos less than that for doing volume or well for triples not volume triples it's, yeah. let's go also I'm sorry about this but it's propping up the camera in actually the best deadlifting angle I've got at the minute so shh So that may have been slightly overshot, but I feel great after that. Like um, the lockout felt way better. I not 100% sure on the lockout on the last rep, but it felt way better. I felt more comfortable. I think I found my new lifting position on it. So gonna do my back downs and then let's talk. I'll talk to you for some insane bench volume because eh, it'll be fun. It's just Larson for a lot. To, I might fall over. But sure, look, it's all part of the fun. I really enjoy Larson and I enjoy benching. Not so much yesterday, but you know. Uh, I think a 155 or one, somewhere in the mid 150s for my back downs today. So um, probably 152.5, it's probably 90%. So yeah, chat to you when I'm on bench. Larson Press sets at 10 at 8. So I did 60 there, it was fine, uh, I have 70 on the bar now, I'm going to start recording because I don't know where an 8 will pop up because uh, 
the 60 felt maybe like 6-ish, maybe, maybe not even, maybe lower. So, gonna go with 70, see how that goes. And um, I'm just gonna record them because I don't know how heavy I'm gonna have to go. So, let's go. I'm not sure whether to go 72.5 or 75 after that. So I'm going to play it safe and go 72.5 because it's week one. Um, we can feel it out from there on. But um, yeah. Also, for context, I'm pretty sure when I started with Odyssey, my bench numbers in week one, my comp bench, was obviously going to be my strongest was a 70 for 5 at 8 and this is Larson Press 70 for 10 at less than 8 this stuff is class crack I did 10 reps there. I thought I actually got to the ninth and fa nearly failed. So I'm actually going to call that an 8. Um, quite happy with that. Like I would have had to grind to get any more reps. But um, I'm happy enough with that. So I'm going to throw on the back downs. Um, might do some bicep curls. I know they're not on the program but I might just do them. Let's see. And then I'm going to go for a walk. What's up? I am going to round off that video there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry that it's still so long. I'm just going to stop talking, to be honest. Um, I might start recording voiceovers or something to my lifting because it's just just takes too long, makes the videos too long, and they're... no. I don't like it. So, um going to try and do voice voiceovers for next week for my second half of the week and we'll see how that goes <laughs>